Hello, Rosie Piller here. Welcome back. This is the fifth in a series of eight videos about upgrading Oracle BPM Suite to version 12C. In earlier videos, we've taken care to verify our pre-upgrade requirements have been met. We've installed the version 12C software in a new Oracle home. And as you saw in the Creating Database Schemas for 12C video, we've created the new schemas required for version 12.1.3. Now let's talk about upgrading schemas and instance data using the Upgrade Assistant. The Oracle Fusion Middleware Upgrade Assistant, or UA, is one of several Fusion Middleware tools and processes that are used to complete an upgrade. During this task, the Upgrade Assistant will upgrade the database schemas that support our component configurations. UA will identify the list of possible component schemas to be upgraded. It will determine the order of schema upgrade based on certain dependency information present. Then, it will upgrade eligible schemas, adding tables, indices, and constraints as required. Finally, it will move all of the active 11G BPM instances into the newly created 12C tables. As you saw in the previous video, we've stopped our 11G servers and other processes and verified no components are accessing the database. That's important as the Upgrade Assistant is going to update the existing schemas and active instances in the database. In the previous video, we described how you can use the SQL query on screen to display the names, versions, and upgrade status of each schema record in the Schema Version Registry table of your database. The Upgrade Assistant is going to offer a list of components to upgrade and a list of schemas that will be affected. These SQL results will be useful when selecting from among those the Upgrade Assistant displays. In our example, three schemas are already at 12.1.3. These are the schemas we created with the repository creation utility in the video titled Creating Database Schemas for 12C. The IAU schema is not eligible for upgrade. To understand more about exceptions like this, refer to Upgrading with the Upgrade Assistant. Your results will vary, but in our example, we'll use UA to upgrade each of the remaining 11G schemas. In a multiple host topology like ours, it's important to run the Upgrade Assistant on the host where the admin server is located. The Upgrade Assistant is expecting to find and reference files that will not be found on a host running only a managed server. If you have a similar topology, run the Upgrade Assistant on the host where the admin server is located. The Upgrade Assistant is installed under the new Oracle Home directory that was created when we installed Fusion Middleware Infrastructure 12C. We navigate to Oracle Home Oracle Common Upgrade Bin, and there we'll find the Upgrade Assistant. The welcome screen always appears first. It provides an overview of the steps the Upgrade Assistant will complete. More importantly, it reminds you that before you begin, you should back up all software that will be affected by the upgrade and verify that your databases, operating system, and hardware are certified for use with version 12.1.3. We've done each of these important tasks, so we'll click Next. The next screen asks you to choose which type of upgrade to perform. You can choose to upgrade your schemas or your WebLogic component configurations. We need to upgrade our schemas first, so we will leave schemas, the default option, selected. Because we chose schemas in the previous screen, a list of installed Oracle Fusion Middleware components that have schemas that can be upgraded is displayed. From here, we choose which components to upgrade. For any selected component, the schemas and any dependencies are automatically selected. Based on our topology, we select Oracle Platform Security Services and Oracle SOA. We re-examine the list and click Next. 
On this screen, we provide the path to the 11G domain to be upgraded. Don't make the mistake of putting in the new 12C folder structure. Here, we want the path to the 11G domain that we're upgrading. The prerequisites screen requires you to acknowledge that all prerequisites have been met before you continue with the upgrade. You must check each of the boxes before you can continue. I've backed up my 11G installation and instance data. I've checked the interoperability and compatibility guide and verified that my database version is certified for this upgrade. I've verified my system meets all requirements for this upgrade to 12C. And if I had a file-based OPSS, I've converted it to a database policy store. At this point, a sequence of schema information screens is displayed. One screen will be displayed for each schema to be updated, based on the components you selected to upgrade earlier in the wizard. For each schema, enter information required to connect to the selected schema and the database that hosts the schema. That information includes the database connect string, username, and password. The schema username is shown. Provide the password for this schema. Here's the connection information for the MDS schema for UCS UMS. In our example, we've used the same passwords for all schemas, so we can page through these. Now we are editing the UCS UMS screen. This one's a little different. Because the component ID or schema name is changed for UCS UMS schema in 12.1.2, the upgrade assistant does not automatically recognize the possible schemas and display them in a drop-down list. We need to manually enter the name in a text field. If we were upgrading from 12.1.2, the name would be prefix underscore UMS. But since we are upgrading from 11G, the name will be prefix underscore ORASDPM. Here's the connection information for the SOA Infra schema. The examine screen displays the status of the upgrade assistant as it examines each component, verifying that the component is ready for upgrade. Each of the choices we've made is listed. Each green check mark indicates that the examination of the schema was successful. The upgrade summary screen provides us a chance to review a summary of the options we've selected before we start the upgrade process. The upgrade is underway. The upgrade progress screen shows the status of the schema upgrade process, but there's one important thing happening that's not suggested by the checklist on screen. All active instance data is being upgraded to 12C. The wizard will not advance until that task is complete as well. Depending on how many active instances you have, this step may take quite some time. When it's complete, we click Next. After a successful upgrade of your schemas and instance data, this window will display the list of successfully upgraded components, their starting versions, and their current version. If your upgrade is not successful, the window will display Upgrade Failure. In that event, the upgrade failed for one or more specified components, and Upgrade Assistant will have to be restarted. Before we leave this window, though, let's take a closer look at Item 2 in the Next Steps section. Note that an automated upgrade of closed instances has been started and will continue until the upgrade is complete or until WebLogic Server is started. If yours is a typical implementation, you will likely be motivated to restart the servers before this automated upgrade is completed. Be sure to take the on-screen advice and refer to the section Administering and Monitoring the Upgrade of SOA Instance Data in Upgrading SOA Suite and Business Process Management to learn how to schedule and otherwise manage the upgrade of your closed instance data. 
We'll talk about that briefly in the video titled Performing Post-Upgrade Tasks and Verifying Success. If the Upgrade Assistant exits with an Upgrade Failure message, or if you would like additional confirmation of a successful outcome, you can rerun the SQL script we saw earlier to list the current schemas and their versions. The example on screen lists each of the schemas in our demo system. The four 11G schemas we were expecting to upgrade have indeed been upgraded to 1213. Our results confirm the successful completion of the Upgrade Assistant and of this step in the upgrade process. We've created new database schemas, upgraded our existing schemas, and migrated active instances. The next step in the upgrade sequence is to reconfigure the 11G WebLogic domain. You'll learn how to do that in the next video in the series. I'm Rosie Piller. Thanks for watching.